MMA Inside the Cage, presented by Elevation Training Mask. Welcome back to MMA Inside the Cage. Now, one thing that we've loved since joining up with Fight Now TV is the Fight Now Vault. And one organization that has produced a ton of MMA champions is Ring of Fire, based in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. They're still going strong today, and you cannot deny the laundry list of UFC stars, Casey. Man, you're talking about guys like Leonard Garcia, Donald Cerrone, Brendan Shaw, Mark Hominet. The list goes on and on. You know, this is a company that I watched from its infancy years ago, but it never got that mainstream push, and I'm glad that they're here right now so we can show the world how great the ring of fire is let's check it out let's break into the vault and check out three familiar faces and some of their earliest fights with ring of fire join us as we open the mma vault to unlock a wealth of action on fight now tv high kick Mike got a tattoo on his chin, and he likes to go out and tattoo people's chins, so it should be interesting. Nice, Vinny opens up with a 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two, and just goes straight into a body lock. Ooh, big takedown for Vinny, straight big out of the gate. Big takedown, gate. straight out. Goes he's already got the back. Oh, this is a bad position. He's got both hooks in. And he's going for the choke right now. Oh, he's flattened him out. This is the last place on earth Mike Nichols wanted to be. Now he's moving up, Soft moving away, going up. to some ground and pound, yeah. The longer this goes, the more it favors Mike Nichols. If Mike can just stay calm, weather the storm, the altitude will play a factor. Vinny's conditioning has been suspect in the past. But we got to get through this right here. Mike has to make it through this. It's definitely a tough position. Yeah, Vinny, There's that arm bar again. He oh, wants it. Exactly he hit it. Right. There it is. He's got that. He's going to sweep him over. But see, what's going to help Mike is the fact the fence is there. Mike hops over. Wait, wait. The referee. Did Mike? Oh, he snapped it. I think he might have snapped his arm. Mike's holding it. Mike didn't even have a chance to tap. I think. No, he, he, he did tap out. Oh, he did. Yeah, he tapped out he really quickly. Tap. I mean, that that Damn. move was. I such told you. High he was level set, didn't I tell you he was setting that up? If you want to see more Ring of Fire, check out the listings on FightNow.com and check out ROFMMA.com for upcoming shows. Our Gamma Labs Feature Fighter of the Week is next, and it's actually stateside as we take a look at Brent Puffy, the undefeated fighter, looking to keep it that way at the Full Nelson's Promotion Show on March 15th in Monoman, Minnesota. We're going to be there calling all the action at the Shooting Star Casino on my birthday. But right now, let's hear all about Brent Puffy. You're talking about the 23-year-old Bantamweight from Bemidji Powerhouse, 2-0 pro, both quick RNC victories already beat his opponent Chad Vaudrin coming up. I'm excited to see him do it again. Oh man, I can't wait to see this show. We are going to rock the Shooting Star Casino. Full Nelson Promotions Submit or Break March 15th. You can find out more at FullNelsonPromotions.com After the break, it's a full look at KSW 22. MMA Inside the Cage presented by Elevation Training Mask. 
Welcome back to MMA Inside the Cage. It's third round time. Cyrus Fees alongside Casey Oxidine. March 16th, KSW is back for the first show of 2013. It'll all come from Torwar Hall in Warsaw, Poland. Looks like a massive show, Casey. KSW has a lot of good stuff going oh, on. Oh, absolutely. Right of course, we talk about Michael Matarla and then Mohamed Kaladov. Hey, man, he is sticking out with KSW. This is a guy that there had been talks about him going to some of the biggest shows here in America. He's, it's not going to happen. He's going to stay there with KSW. He's going to do it big. Reminds me a lot of the, the Fedor hot back in the day where Mohamed Kaladov's brand in itself supersedes anything around it. His popularity there in Poland is just unsurpassed. I completely agree. Let's check out this card for KSW 22. Main event pitch truly one of Poland's best, the light heavyweight champion Jan Blokowicz taking on a UFC vet, Goran Reljic. This is a big step up for Blokowicz. What a main event. Well, you know, you've got Reljic. This is a guy that has been in the UFC. He's taken on Sosniski, Dalloway, Kendall Grove, came in there, beat Wilson Govea in his initial fight there in the UFC. He's coming over there to KSW. He's going to do a big time. He's going to push John Blockowitz, but I think Blockowitz takes it home. That's my Ooh, opinion. That'll be interesting. Now, co-main event, this is going to be historical, Casey. Paolo Mastula, the legendary gold medalist, Judonka, pride veteran, now 42 years old and on a three-fight win streak. No opponent has been named yet, but I know all of Poland and all of the world is really going to be watching this fight closely. Well, you know, Nastula has fought Alexander Emelianenko, Minotaro Nogueira, and he has won his last three fights in first-round fashion. But, you know, this is a guy a lot like Randy tour back in the day. He's a guy who, who had success early in his career. He's getting a little bit older, but those grips never go away. Just like those carpenter hands, they only seem to get better. He's getting tougher, and he may have hit another one of those upswings in his career. I'm so excited to see him back in action again. Can't wait. Now, how about Ollie Thompson? Fresh off of his UFC run, and then he just got the win at UFC MMA. He's about to make his mark against KSW's heavyweight prize, Carl Bedorf. This is a big fight. Literally a lot of weight a in the ring. Yeah, absolutely. Bedorf, big monster and you take a look at this guy's record you know, he's got two submissions and one TKO but the rest of his wins by decision that means that the big man can go the distance which is kind of rare for those heavyweights so I'm excited to see this fight go down and see what kind of action ensues it's gonna be great we got more heavyweight action on the car Christos Palafis looking to redeem himself in KSW by taking on the rising star and Camille will lose Peter Strauss will be in competition against Abu Azatar and then Rafael Mox will match up against Marcin Naruska you can find out more about KSW 22 at the official website, confrontakcha.com. And we can't wait till all the fun on March 16th. This week's main event of the week features the champ, Jan Blockowitz, in one of his more dominant outings. It's your MMA Inside the Cage main event of the week. <laughs>
Fighters, promoters, fans, get hooked up. Send us your best knockouts and submissions by going to MMAinsidethecagetv.com and clicking Get On Air.